everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. Uh, my name is Dr. Pramil Charyat. I'm a practicing physician in the United States, uh, program director in general medicine residency, transitional residency, associate professor of medicine to a large medical school in the United States. Today, we're going to continue our series on um, side effects of the drug, especially the obesity drug, which is very popular. Today, our topic is about all these stats. Okay, this is one of the <clears throat> uh, prescribed medications for uh, obesity um, in the world. And um, in 2007, I think there were almost around 10 million prescriptions were sold. I don't know exactly how many prescriptions are sold right now. The mechanism of this at work is it decreases the pancreatic and the gastric enzymes in the stomach. Okay. But now, today, our topic is we're going to look at the side effects specifically which system. All right, so let's start. The number one thing we're going to look at is the cancer. Everyone is worried. Does this drug, can it cause cancer? The data is not very clear. Earlier studies showed there is a link between breast cancer and oral stat. Later on, they did some study and didn't kind of call, I mean, did not substantiate that claim. Okay, so again, there's some data come is coming out, came out early. It can cause breast cancer. All right, number two, we going to look at the heart or cardiovascular system. But the only problems reported is can cause leg swelling. We call it pedal edema. Okay, now let's look at the respiratory system. Um, what happens when you take this drug? The complications could be upper respiratory infection or it could be lower respiratory infection. There are lots of report people getting influenza when they take on this drug. Okay, the next system we're going to look at the most important is the gastrointestinal complication. These are very common complications related to the stomach. The number one reported is the oily rectal leakage. Okay, then you can have bowel urgency, you can have abdominal pain, you can flatulence, steatoria. Steatoria means like a fatty stool, um, and then you can have um, fecal incontinence, you can have rectal pain, all of this nausea, vomit. So gastrointestinal complication is very, very common. Now, let's look at how does it affect the gallbladder and liver. When you talk about the gallbladder, it can cause gallstones. It can cause liver injuries or, or noted. Now, the other major complication is the loss of vitamin. This because it affects the absorption of vitamins in our system. So vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, these fat soluble vitamins will not get this, uh, absorbed in the body, okay? So that is going to be, and beta carotene absorption will also be affected. Now, let's look at the endocrine system. When you talk about endocrinology um, system, we have to think about uh, mainly the hypoglycemia, uh, talk about the nervous system complications. You can have like headache, fatigue, anxiety, and sleep disturbances also. When you talk about genitourinary complications, you can have menstrual uh, disturbances, you can have uh, um, urinary tract infection, and vaginitis also can be seen during this. For muscular skeletal, you can have back pain, neck pain, and the muscle pain. Well, these are the complications reported by taking all your step. Not all the time you should not, you're not going to get it. Very rarely um, some of those complications can happen, but it's good to know before you take the drug what can I expect it or when to stop it. That's why we're making this videos. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.